Lately, the RV lifestyle has gained a lot of popularity and with it, the demand for high quality RV parks has skyrocketed. Now, this increase in interest has presented a unique investment opportunity for those out there looking for diversification along with generating passive income. Now, if you're considering investing in an RV park, this video will cover everything you need to know to get started. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video where I'm going to reveal my personal strategy for passively investing in RV parks, allowing me to avoid having to deal with the tenants. And if you're new here, I'm Dr. Jeff Anzalone, a Louisiana periodontist on a mission to get you out of the rat race with passive income. Do me a favor to get started, download the passive income guide I've put together just for you with the link below this video. Now let's start off by answering the question, why should we invest in RV parks? Well, there's actually several reasons. The first one is passive income. Owning an RV park can generate consistent passive income, especially if you have a professional management team in place to handle all the day-to-day -day operations. This is gonna allow you to enjoy the financial benefits without having to be actively involved in the management process. This is really important for those of us, like myself, probably you, busy, high-income earning professionals with little to no time having to deal with tenants. Number two is appreciation. Like other real estate investments, RV parks can appreciate in value over time. Now, as demand for RV parks continues to increase, the value of very well maintained and strategically located parks will only increase as well. And last but not least, number three, diversification. Now, RV parks offer a unique opportunity to diversify your portfolio, allowing you to expand your real estate holdings and lower or reduce the risk associated with putting all your eggs in one basket. Just like if you're investing in the stock market, you don't, you don't want to put all your money in one stock or in one type or sector of mutual fund. You want to spread it out. Same thing when it goes to investing in real estate. You, want, you don't want to put all of your money in one particular asset class, like everything in self-storage or everything in apartments. You want diversification. RV parks allow you to do that. Now, how do you find the perfect RV park? Now, when searching for the perfect RV park to invest in, you need to consider these key factors. Just like anything with real estate, location, location, location. So the right location is critical to the success of your RV park investment. You wanna make sure you look for parks that are in close proximity to popular tourist attractions, particularly ones that offer scenic views or are in areas with other thriving RV communities. The second one is the infrastructure. Now, the infrastructure is an essential aspect of RV parks. You wanna make sure to ensure that the park has the necessary facilities such as the proper electric hookups, water and sewage systems, and you wanna make sure they have the proper road access to get in and out of your park. Make sure that you check the condition of these facilities as upgrading or repairing them can be quite costly. Third thing you want to look at are the amenities. Now, these can set exceptional RV parks apart from the rest. Consider investing in a park that offers a complete variety of amenities like swimming pools, clubhouses, playgrounds, even a convenience store. Now, these added features can attract more guests and keep them coming back for more. I've even seen some with a lazy river. That's right, lazy rivers. How cool is that? The fourth thing is the financial performance. Now you want to make sure that you carefully review the financial performance of any RV park that you're considering. You want to make sure that you look at things like the occupancy rates, the revenue, and the expenses to get a clear picture of the park's profitability. You want to compare the park's performance with some of the industry's benchmarks to understand its potential for growth and return on investment. And last but not least is you want to look at the competition. You want to analyze the competition in the area to determine if there's room uh, for growth or on the opposite side, if the market's already saturated. You want to research nearby RV parks, their rates, their amenities, and their occupancy levels to ensure your potential investment can thrive in the current market. Now, you can simply cold call ones within a few miles of the park that you're looking to buy. Now, we actually did this with a park that we invested in in Tennessee. And once we, we called uh, within like a five mile radius of the park that we eventually did invest in, we found out that the surrounding parts had a six month, that's right, a six month waiting period 
to get into. How about that for, for high demand? Okay, so make sure you check the competition. Now let's move on to talk about financing your RV park. Now, once you've found the ideal RV park, it's time that you have to secure the financing. So here's a few examples. You can look at doing a traditional loan. Now, traditional loan are from your bank or credit unions, very popular option for financing these parks. These types of loans offer competitive interest rates, but they also may require a very substantial down payment and you have to make sure that you have a very strong credit score. The next one is a SBA loan or Small Business Administration loan. They can also be about a viable option for financing. These are actually government-backed loans and they offer lower down payment requirements and they'll give you longer repayment options or terms, making them a very attractive source for many investors, especially first-time investors. And then last but not least are creative financing. Now these options are like seller financing, partnerships, or lease to own agreements. These can also help you secure the funds needed for your RV park investment. Uh, these actually can be a little bit more flexible, but they also may come with a little bit higher interest rates or other unique terms versus the other two. Now let's talk about managing your RV park. Okay. So once you've acquired your RV park, it's now time to focus on actually managing the investment to maximize your returns. You want to make sure we are maximizing our investment. So here's some things that you can do. You want to make sure that you hire a professional manager. So if you're not interested like me in the hands-on management, consider hiring a professional RV park manager to oversee all the day-to-day -day operations. This is going to allow you to focus on the big picture, while ensuring your park runs very smoothly. Number two is you want to implement effective marketing strategies. So you want to be able to attract guests and maintain high occupancy levels, implement effective marketing strategies. You can do this by online advertising, uh, social media campaigns, and even partnerships with local businesses or tourist attractions. Number three is you wanna, all, you wanna make sure as really with any business, you offer excellent customer service. So delivering exceptional customer service is the key to retaining guests and encouraging repeat visits. You wanted to invest in staff training, maintain clean facilities, and address any guest concerns very promptly. And last but not least, you want to always plan for regular maintenance and upgrades. So to ensure that your RV park remains competitive, uh, by planning for regular maintenance upgrades, this is one of the keys to success. This is going to include addressing any wear and tear, uh, investing in new amenities, and basically just staying abreast of the industry trends. Now, as you can see, investing in an RV park can be a very, very lucrative investment, offering the potential for passive income appreciation and diversification. But wait, there's more. So I want to thank you for sticking to the end of this video. As I promised, I'm going to reveal how I'm personally investing in RV parks. Now, I've actually teamed up with a group that's able to find and acquire off-market mom and pop parks, okay? I've teamed up with a group that's able to go out and find, you know, so, so you're probably wondering what does off-market mean and what does mom and pop mean? So this group of people, they actually have boots on the ground, a dedicated team, and they're sole job, their number one job is to actually go out and locate these parks. And this can be done by, if you just ride by just a, a park, they may stop in, see if the owner's there. They may take the information down. They may get the phone number, call them. They're going online. They're getting a list of, of all the parks in all these different states. They're cold calling them. They're sending out mailers, all, all this type of things to generate leads. Okay. That is their sole job to do is locate people that basically off market means they're, they're not even wanting to sell their park. So it's like if somebody walked into my dental office and said, Hey, you want to sell your dental practice? Uh, well, I hadn't really thought about it. Give, give me an offer. So it's kind of like that. Now, the good thing about these are because they're mom and pop, most of them are either mismanaged or they have tons of room for growth because really the, the owners are just content of running it like they've done for years. You know, they're happy with, with kind of their little setup. Some of them may or may not have websites, okay? They're just kind of sitting there, everybody's cruising along. So these are the perfect ones for huge growth potential. Now, once we go out and we acquire these parks, it's very easy to increase the NOI, the net operating income. And because 
right now you've got your expenses, you got your income. Well, if we can separate that gap, if we can get in more income and either keep the expenses where they are or lower and we have more NOI, more net operating income, once we, once we increase this, we can potentially refinance out after 18 to 24 months later, getting a huge chunk of our investment back, but then continue the passive income each quarter. We're still in the deal, right? I'm really excited with this group. And if you're an accredited investor and you want access to deals like this in RV parks and other asset classes, do me a favor, join the Passive Investor Circle with the link that I put below this video. Take care.